Matthew 8, 1. Katabantas de autu apa tu arus ekaluthesan auto achloi paloi. We've just finished the Sermon on the Mount and had the wrap-up summary statement, and now we read, uh, Now, after he came down, we'll come back to this construction right here, but after he came down from the mountain, right, Jesus was uh, delivering the famous Sermon on the Mount, on the mountain, after he came down from the mountain, large crowds, or great crowds, or even many crowds perhaps, but great crowds followed him. Him. Remember the verb akalutheo, the lexical form is akalutheo. It takes a dative object or dative complement. That's why auto is in the dative. When we look at akalutheo and you compare it to the form here, what do you see that's different? Well, you see how the initial alpha is lengthened to an eta. So in lieu of an augment, that initial vowel lengthened. With that theta is part of the lexical form. That is not a marker of the passive. That is part of the lexical form. And, but we do see a sigma alpha. So what we have, we have an augment. We have a sigma alpha. This is an aorist active indicative. It's third person plural to match the third person plural subject. Great crowds. Let's go back to the beginning of the verse. And you see a genitive pronoun. And then you see a genitive participle. Aha! You have a genitive absolute, almost certainly. Yes, you do. And those are almost always temporal. And the genitive noun or pronoun becomes the subject, he. And the genitive participle becomes the verb, came down. And then this is almost always jump-started with when or after. And this is an, an aorist participle, so we'll try after first, as it's talking about an action that occurred previously to the main verb, perhaps. And also, just we're, we're phrasing the aorist participle as a, as a whole action. We're not saying after he was coming down. We just say after he came down. This uh, katabantas is from katabaino. Katabaino. Uh, and when you see a word that ends in aino, it's going to lose a lot of stuff in, in uh, other tenses that aino will drop out. But what we have here is just an aorist active participle. And it's genitive, masculine, singular. Of course, genitive because it's part of this... Uh, special adverbial construction, that what's called the genitive absolute. It's masculine singular because it's telling us about what the to, what he is doing. After, I think I'll read through the whole verse again one more time. Uh, now, after he came down from the mountain, large crowds followed him.